Hello everyone, my name is Daniel. I have a 2011 Cadillac Escalade and I randomly will run into the problem where I lose power throughout the whole vehicle. So I have done some diagnosing and I have found and confirmed a fix for this problem. Um, you'll get like little tweaks, uh, door locks will randomly start making noises, windows, stereo, wipers, um, it shorts out through the whole system. And there are two common problems. Um, this is probably the number one problem here is the ground cable on OEM cables. I don't know why, but if your car is not starting, you could probably pop the hood, go over to the ground cable, Use your little car alarm or the key fob to see if you're getting power or not. Um, the car alarm will probably go off when you wiggle this. But right here, um, between the connector there, it, it just it gets loose and it's not making a consistent connection. So everything in the car just will stall out or no power to anything. Like you don't even have a battery hooked up. So um, I went to my local dealer. I get parts at a pretty good price, but you can buy the positive lead for uh, $67.19 after tax, and you can buy the the negative terminal for $83.85. There's a lot going on with this negative. It runs through, it has a sensor that plugs in right here, and it connects to the engine block and then connects to the frame with this um, this piece here is on the inside of the frame um, you'll have to remove the lower uh, passenger side uh, light shield that's there it's a seven millimeter socket and it has uh, young and a 10 millimeter socket is what you'll need to do that and it's a little hard to get to but uh I mean, a little bit of time and turning a wrench won't hurt. Uh, and then I will show you what I replaced. So here's the negative terminal here. I, you could see that this terminal here, there's no gap between that wire and the actual uh, loom around the wire. So it is nice and tight in there, but I replaced that terminal and it runs here, uh, goes that electrical connector that I was showing you, plugs in right there. Um, the new wire actually comes with all of the little clips and everything, so if you don't want to deal with taking them off carefully, you can just break them all off, it doesn't matter. And then it connects to the engine block right here, off this, this is a stud, so this whole piece will come out, um, probably not just the nut on there. And each connection actually has a tab, so it can only go on one way. And the, the next one goes all the way down there. Um, you can follow the wires. And then, I'm gonna show you. I don't have the car lifted or anything. I didn't have to lift it to remove this. But this shield right here, that big plastic shield that I have the camera facing at, um, it has four seven millimeter uh, screws and then it also has one 10 millimeter uh, nut that is uh, fastening it to the frame and that ground wire actually goes to the front of the frame which is uh, sort of a hassle to get to but um, it took most of the time to just do that one piece uh, otherwise it probably would have taken about 30 minutes to change out this whole switch um, the other problem was you could test these if you would like. Um, it's not necessarily going to be your ground. So if you use a volt voltmeter or a multimeter, you can test the terminal. I ran into, at first, this stud right here was not receiving any power because the stud was actually loose in there. So um, it would either make contact or not. So if you come out here and if you can move it, then I would recommend pulling all this off. Um, I used... Uh, a lock washer underneath it to create the difference in space and then cinched everything up really well so 
now everything's solid and secure. Um, this cable is quite simple. Uh, this is the one I'm referring to here. Um, it runs to the back and then follows the top of the firewall there. Um, there's a bunch of clips. Uh, just be careful when taking them off. It just takes, I mean, I can show you here. You, you could pull the, the back tab of it, maybe. It's a little hard right now. No, it's too cold outside. Um, so, uh, you could use a little flathead screwdriver and just pop it out. But be careful, it doesn't take much to get them off and you don't want to break them. Um, and then that runs all the way to this main fuse panel. Um, uh, this whole thing just lifts out. It has two plastic handles. You turn them upward slowly and it will release. So, uh, sorry, my kids tore this one off. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this helps other people. Um, the dealer wants over $1,400 to replace uh, this this positive lead here. Um, so if you want to save some money and you're a little bit of a handyman, uh, this is a pretty simple job. Uh, just be super careful to not forget to actually disconnect the battery when working with it. That way you don't actually accidentally short everything out. So I really hope this helps. Um, I know it's a very common problem with Escalades and other Chevys and stuff like that. So it is uh, just basically a Poor quality part uh, that part gets no movement So I don't understand why it would just randomly start to fail like that and especially on a 2011 so if this Helps somebody please give me a thumbs up and uh, I will uh, be posting more videos if anything else arises. Have a good day